What is going on, everybody? It's TG back with another video. It's been a while, guys. We got sick again. Got the flu, not the kung flu. We got that. Uh, we got that a couple months ago. We just got the regular flu, and uh, it's bad. It's much worse than uh, getting the Delta a couple months ago. I've been, I've been bad. Like, I'm a pretty fit guy, but I've been, I've been messed up badly. Um, so haven't really done much at all. Kind of just laid in bed and slept and shivered and not really ate. But I have been watching Baba. Have been watching what that's been doing. Not too good, actually. Uh, earnings got pushed back. It was supposed to be on the 4th of November. Uh, they came out today and said that they're going to do it, or yesterday, actually, um, that they're going to have a November 18th. So that'll be interesting to hear all that, see, see how the earnings are. I think that's going to be a big catalyst for the stock. But I'm not going to be watching it as much <coughs> anymore. Um, right now, there is a lot of uncertainty about BABA. Um, and we know this. I mean, anyone who's an investor in Alibaba, we know there's a lot of uncertainty in it. But, you know, analysts are slashing estimates on the earnings. One of the reasons it's been going down so much because the stock was rallying. If you guys remember, this thing was on a rampage. Um, you know, shot up massive from 138 all the way to like 180. Um, and then it pulled back pretty hard, um, about 11% from those highs. Now, you know, this week... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um has pulled back another uh, 6% this week. So it's been a little rough patch for BABA, but BABA's PE is under 20 again, uh, making it very, very attractive, um, especially coming into these earnings where analysts are already expecting it to do very, very badly. So it could turn out to be a good play. Um, but again, we're gonna have to wait two weeks um, for the earnings to come out. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. But yeah, I mean, overall the Hang Seng market has been has been falling as well. Fell to one month lows um, on the Kaisa news or the Kaisa woes, I guess. And there's a little Delta outbreak um, in China as well. I thought they had no cases. Guess not. And then also this news about the Chinese firm um, a bid to take over the SCMP from Alibaba. You know, there's just there's more crackdowns, there's more regulations. Um, and it just becomes such an issue um, for for Alibaba, for Tencent, for JD, um, and they've all been getting hit. It's not again. It's not just Alibaba, um, but Alibaba is the only e-commerce that's been getting hit. You know, we've seen like Amazon and Melly, and those just explode recently. Shopify, but you know that that China factor has been has been doing a lot to to hold down. Alibaba, and that's why we're back in the 150s. Um, after we saw the 180s again, I didn't think we were going to see 150s, to be honest. Um, I closed out a lot of my spreads, luckily, up there, just to get out of something and try to be safe. Um, but our portfolio is taking a massive hit. Um, we Timing on things has been terrible, um, and we're actually switching things up the way we do things, trying to be a little bit more safe in long term. Um, but we'll go over that in another video. Um, one thing I also want to talk about is... With Alibaba, you have to look at their year-over-year um, -year growth despite how the economy is doing. We saw the economic numbers come out for China, and they were not good at all. So especially retail sales, disgustingly bad. If Alibaba can go ahead and do something big this earnings despite that, that looks really good because if it, you know a bull market for the economy for China... That's going to bode very, very well for Alibaba in the long term. Um, also, we have Singles Day on 11 slash 11. If you guys don't know what Singles Day is, well, buckle up because it's a pretty amazing thing for Alibaba. And the company makes a fortune, fortune from it. Um, I don't like Yahoo, to be honest with you. I don't like Yahoo. I do like CNBC. They have good news. Um, but, you know, they're expecting to do a lot of money that day, um, you know. It's crazy how much they make in just one day alone. I mean, last in 2020 they did uh, 700 or 74.1 billion U.S. dollars in one day. One day. So just incredible how big this is. This is going to be amazing for Alibaba's not this earnings quarter, but next earnings quarter, um, going into the holiday season as well. So. Um, I think it'll be huge, um, but I mean the event technically spans over 11 days, but um, still the majority of it happens on double 11, which is 11 11. But still, that's just huge. That's so much money. Um, but then also we have this issue with the common prosperity um, from President Xi and you know all his 
all his antics to hurt Baba at all costs, and not just Baba, but a lot of tech companies in China. So we'll have to see what happens. I mean, if he goes on a rampage, it's gonna Baba's gonna be back in the 140s probably. I wouldn't be surprised. But good earnings, good singles day numbers. This could start a big rally back at 200, but we'll have to see. There's a lot ahead of us, like a lot. So yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm going to keep looking out for this. I'm sorry that I haven't been making videos, guys. Like I said, I've been so sick, it's been bad. I'm even shortly making this video, to be honest with you. Talking, talking is a little bit difficult. Um, but I do it for you guys, because I like you guys. You guys are my fans, you guys are my friends, and I appreciate that. Um, and if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. It means a ton to me. Hop in the Discord and chat. I've been able to chat in the Discord with some of you guys, um, which has been fun. But yeah, just do that. Uh, let me know how you guys feel. Let me know how you guys are doing. Uh, flu season, so get your flu shot or, you know, be like me and just get the living crap out of you for a week. Uh, I'd rather rather get the shot. Honestly, if I can go back, I'm getting that shot. I uh, didn't think I got the flu anymore, but I guess I do. Um, but yeah, uh, next week's a big week. We're going to see if there's any... Let's just hope there's no news. As long as there's no news for Baba, things might be pretty good. Um, there's no news for Baba... <coughs> It's actually good news. Um, and then the week after, we have earnings, and that could be the big day. If it's good, send the stock up big, and maybe uh, maybe the, the start of a real reversal. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for everything. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Have some fun. Not too much fun. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.